Have you guys noticed that all of the high-end stores has a version of these chain links? And they're really cute. I think they make great decor, but they're so expensive. So I thought, you know, this would be fun to make. Plus anything that's like really trendy like that, where you know it's gonna go out of style, I don't like to spend a lot of money on. So for this project, I'm going to get a tub of Crayola clay. And I wanna thank you guys for recommending this clay to me. It actually works so much better than the last project project where I use clay and I asked for your recommendations. So thank you. Thank you. This tub that I got, I purchased off of Amazon. I'll link it for you down below. Actually came with four packs in it. And for this project, I used two of the packs. So you could probably buy a lesser amount. I figured I'd use it for another project and I liked that they were sealed up. That way it's not going to go bad. So what I decided to do to make these chains is I grabbed out just a good amount of the clay and I started to roll it out. Then I decided I needed to make it pretty uniform. So I figured out, you know, the diameter that I wanted it to be. So I thought that I wanted each of them to be about an inch wide in diameter. And then I used just a little cutting tool that they have at Dollar Tree and I cut off one edge and then I cut the other edge off at 17 inches. I thought that would make it really uniform and I wouldn't have to worry about them looking different. And then I just took the two pieces and put them together and tried to smooth it out so you didn't see that edge link. But I wasn't really worried about that because most chains have a little link like that, so I wasn't worried about that. And then I set that piece up to the top. And I repeated this for each of my links. As I kept making new links, I would check the thickness to make sure that the thickness was similar to the links that I already made because I wanted them to look pretty uniform. Then whenever I got one done and cut it, I would wrap it inside of one of my other links so that they were all connected together. Now, after you put in as many links as you want, the next thing you want to do is shape it to kind of figure out how you want it to look because whatever shape it's in, that's how it's going to be sitting out on your coffee table. So if you want to elevate it, elevate it now, work with it until you're happy with the way that it looks. Then you want to let it dry for 24 hours. Now I will say with this clay that the longer I let it sit, the more it dried. So I would say I didn't paint it until about day two, but but it's, I've had it now for a long time and it's gotten harder over time. So this next part is totally your personal preference. I wanted it to first be painted white, so it was just a really consistent white color. So I went in with Waverly white chalk paint and painted it white. Now the color washing that I decided to do for this piece is, is, I didn't really want it to have that much color, but I came in, I mixed a yellow and a red color and I put that on, it kind of gave me like a mustardy color. And so I wiped that on and it was just, it was way too thick. So I came in with water. Anytime you want to dilute a paint, you want to add in water. So I added in water and then I took a paper towel and immediately wiped it off. So this gave me just a tiny, tiny bit of color, really not a lot at all. Then I wanted it to have a little bit of brown. So I used my vintage effects wash and put that on, wiped it with water the same way and wiped off any excess. So in the end, it just gave me a tiny, bit of color on this piece but that was the look I was going for if you wanted it to be more of a wood look you could definitely add more color you know really you could customize this any way you wanted you could even go with gray here's a look at how it looks sitting out on my tray Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.